It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Niners and the Commanders, and it's coming up next. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, these commanders, a last place ball club in 2022. In most cases, you'd say that was a lost season, but they finished 8-8-1, eight, eight, 500. That would have won the NFC South. What kind of a chance do you give them in what is certainly a loaded NFC East? And you're exactly right about the division. So you have to be cautious about what you think with this team. They've got to continue to play excellent defense and get some improvement on the offensive side of the ball and establish who their quarterback is going to be. Then for the visiting 49ers, you know, they're exciting on the offensive side of the ball, but it's the defense that really provides a lot of stability. They were second by a whisker to the Bills in total defense a year ago. And they have all pro caliber players at all three levels, all capable of taking over a game. Now the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The commander's offense set to go to work, and they're led by the veteran who's bounced around a bit in season number eight now. It's Jacoby Brissett. Spent the early years of his career bouncing between starter and backup as needed. Played well, but never had a team fully commit to him as their guy. He does retain the toolbox that made him projectable as a starter. Big, strong player with a powerful arm, deceptively mobile, and tough to tackle. The best part about his game, leadership and being a great teammate. Brissett going to go to the air right away. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Now the second-year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Brissett. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, here's Brissad. And he is caught. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. First down, Brissett. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Play action now, Brissett. 
And it's caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been the Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call. So out comes the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. They'll throw again. Brissett. Jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave and that gives you a little added pep. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score touchdown from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21 the Niners offense set to go to work and it's last year's revelation Brock Purdy who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State and there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building potential they're sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 21. What a pickup this man was last year. It's Christian McCaffrey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 29, here's second down and two. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Here's Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And they get him down before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's Purdy on first and 10. But the man is Juwan Jennings. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. He 
in Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll get it inside the 35. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball and put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's, that he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. That's Duran Payne with a sack that time. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Purdy will set up to throw it here. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Nice little juke, and he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And his kick is right there. It's good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Brissett. That one complete out to Dodson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. 
Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Play fake, Brissett. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Back to Robinson now on first down. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here now, second and four. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Down to about the 37. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down and a run by Robinson. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Here's Brissett. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A gain of 22. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. From the red zone now, Brissett. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Out of the gun, Brissant. That's into the hands of his tight end, Bates. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run, not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brissett. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Well, you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown, but you're also trying to keep them from getting a first down as well. That time they weren't up to the task, and it's first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Robinson will take this one in. Touchdown, Washington. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. 
Sly on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by the touchdown run from Brian Robinson. Slide now to kick off after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 20, here's the second and eight. Here's Samuel. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 25. A big play there for the Niners. 56 yards. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. The throwing here, Purdy. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Second down, and this one incomplete as well. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Purdy with it on third and long. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. After one, a 14 to three ball game. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Purdy sets up to throw again. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners have cut it back within a score. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit. Found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game.
So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Washington offense set to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A first down throw for Brissett. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Brissett's throw taken in by Samuel. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Third catch in this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First and ten, it's Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A second down throw for Brissett. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. The offense on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and 14. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And shutting him off now on the field. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. That's why you call a screen. You want to catch a defense over committing. Plenty of space available, and that matched up perfectly. What a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop it for an eight-yard loss. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This one from 46 yards out. Sly able to put this one through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17 10. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know 
after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. to the main field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now Brandon Ayuk ready to bring out the rest of this offense here for this upcoming series. He'll try to generate some more steam on offense down to the scoreboard second quarter. Not necessarily his fault, but he's always a guy they want to get extra involved. Keep finding ways for him to get the football. Keep force feeding him in that way. Get to the half. Rest you know, kind of reboot, start over again to try and erase the other things that have them down on the scoreboard. They'll be looking for a little more juice here in the second quarter before they do hit that halftime locker room. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Stiff-armed him. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Purdy to throw it on first down. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The end result, 21 yards. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the seven, it's second and five. Out of the gun, Purdy. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Quarterback in 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Purdy looking to throw. 
That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and threw it his way. What a big time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Robinson up the middle. A solid stiff arm. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's an excellent run right there on second and long. Didn't get back all of it, but a huge chunk. Now they're in third and manageable and back on schedule trying to pick up a first down. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. This will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. From the gun, here's Brissett. A quick throw there he is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. 
Throwing. Brissett. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Reset, so complete there to Thomas. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Again, it's Brissett. This one left side caught by Gibson. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat. Has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Brissett on first down. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Brissett sets to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Brissett. incomplete but the pressure there on third down forcing the errant pass fourth down coming up back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive stalled out here I'm gonna give credit to the secondary partner never gave up as they gave up a few yards and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down Sly able to put this one through and with that they take the lead here 20 to 17 so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks can tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And his throw here is incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup.
They'll see about converting this third and eight. For one more time, they'll keep it on the ground. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Brian Robinson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. these offenses have been in fine form what will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point, and now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Second down and three. McCaffrey running up the middle. Oh, what a juke into space. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Back to the air on second down, Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had no command that time, man. They're putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they face 
a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Birdie. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Big strides, look at him go. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 59 yards. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Charles, that was a heck of a play. It truly was because when he made that catch, he had to shake through some people, right? So that play, to me, a highlight film that should be accompanied by bass music, right? <laughs> I mean, boom, 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 and he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. Moody good with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Now it's Crowder. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Brissett's throw into the hands of McLaurin. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. On play action, Brissett, and down he goes. The 49ers get there. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. So the opening drive of this third quarter, they're trying to set the tone for the second half. And without a doubt, they did exactly that. I've known coaches who have said the first five minutes of each half are so important to do exactly what you said, which is set the tone. I've also heard coaches talk about the first five plays. Let's go out and be aggressive right off the top. That's exactly what they did. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. This will wind up a loss on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense. Picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and five. Here's Purdy. In trouble, and he's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Third down and 13. 
Back to throw, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, another shot for Robinson. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Third and three. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. That is caught, and he's going to have a commander's first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Brissett. Thomas brings it in. Inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. He's got Thomas yet again complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Brissett now. And a dump off here to Robinson. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On third down, Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 
So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. To the main field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Now Purdy. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Connects with Kittle underneath. Shoves him aside. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. I couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Purdy looking to throw. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And he is going to lose yardage here. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Throwing again on second down but this time it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. 
but I certainly didn't expect them to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Second down and four. Purdy now to throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. The throwing here, Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now it's second and ten. Purdy bootlegging it. That's into the hands of Dwelly. Five yards, now it's third and five. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Here is third and five. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Now he's forced out low. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Niners are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Moody good with the extra point, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Well, another drive coming up for this Washington offense. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And he floated one out there incomplete. A 
this point in the second half. One mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hand off now to Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing, Brissett. will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Here's Purdy on first and 10. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. And I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Purdy to throw it on first down. And a little flipper there is incomplete. And when you're in a one score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Second and ten. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Third and eight. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And a short game down to about the 33. Jabril Cox there on the tackle. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that one. Put it in bold. Here we go. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So here we go. It's 
Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal to start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. And the Washington offense going back to work. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game. So they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Start on the ground with Robinson here. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 88 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right, they did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Brissett. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Now Brissett. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. And he will be taken down, but it's a big play and a conversion for Washington on fourth down. I tell you what, this is not for the faint of heart right here. Fourth down, this is taking a big risk, but it's as good a play call as you can imagine. And the defense, just not able to come up with the stop they needed. And this is not just a first down, but a big play as well. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10 to throw Brissad. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he's taken down inside the 30. Add the gain here to the previous play and it's better than 40 yards total. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. 
But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Brissett. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. They go play action with Brissett. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. A 39-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. to the main field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers. Fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders. We'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Now Washington down by eight, a minute 55 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Brissette. Welcome on your partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. They'll try again here, second and 10. 
Here's Brissett. And Dotson, he's got it. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Brissett. And this is going to be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. This one, an absolute must. It's fourth and four. Here's Brissett. Pass complete, Thomas. And this is gonna wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down. And an exhale there as they convert on fourth. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Brissett. He's got McClellan. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Fourth down, Brissett. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. Now Brissett. And that is caught downfield by Thomas. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Second and six coming up. Brissett looks to throw. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Partner, what a finish to this one. I mean, this offense, they had it down there inside the red zone but ultimately couldn't execute that final snap to find the end zone. 
Yeah, and they're going to walk away from this one, and you know what's going to go through their heads the entire time until they get to play again. If we could only have that final snap to do over one more time, maybe with a different play call.